to the product okay. we got. You know what I'm saying? Help you to uh, market that. Right now, y'all are on Instagram, right? Yep, we're, we're, on, we're on Instagram. So we're on Instagram um, at Black Mama Joint. Um, and, you know, we, we just kind of started up the, the, our, our whole social media marketing recently. Um, and uh, we, we do one gram OG Kush joints um, covered in shatter, which is a, which is a purified cannabis, uh, purified THC oil, yep. 98% THC. Yep. We completely paint the whole joint in that shatter, and then we roll it in, in sugar keef, which is more THC. So it's completely covered in keef. It almost looks, looks, looks like a fuzzy little baseball bat. Yeah, I saw and, it in uh, green, right? What's that? Yeah, I saw it was green, like this, the green green shaving looking uh, thing. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's more like a dark tan. Um, I just took those pictures. Those, those pictures were taken on my iPhone, so, you know, they got probably a little, you know, not, not the best lighting. It's more like a tan. The keef is like what falls off the bud. Right. Hold on one second, yeah. uh, Joe. We actually got a, a a call coming in here. Looks like my man, the number one chief rocker, Jersey Vern, is called in. What's going on, uh, Vern? How are you doing, brother? Damn, guess who stepped in the weed house? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, bro? How you doing? Man, I'm good, baby. Shoot. After sitting up here talking about some shit I ain't smoked since 98. You know? <laughs> Y'all got me ready to go have big again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. My man Joey got that product, man. That That's a... That's a... I was saying, yeah, you got that product there. So we have a man, uh, Jersey Vern, called in, and uh, you had you had a question or comment with uh, to Joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to ask him, man, uh, how much you paying an hour to work up in there? <laughs> <laughs> we pay the guys, man. We every everyone gets paid something a little bit different depending on what their skill level is. But um, all our guys start off at twenty bucks an hour. Every single guy. Do y'all run trucks out there? Be... Uh what? I was wondering, do y'all, how many trucks do y'all run out of there? Do you have delivery trucks and stuff that come out? We don't, we don't, we don't do delivery ourselves. We just, we're just, a, we're just a producer and manufacturer, and then we just sell it to the actual delivery company. I got you. We don't, you know, but that's a whole different business. To, I don't want to, a whole different headache. I don't want to deal with having to manage yeah. drive product, and I don't want to deal with that. Gotcha. I can be your head of security. You know what I'm saying? I can set up a security. Uh, firm around your whole building, you know what I'm saying, making sure it ain't nothing getting out there, so every little crumb that you make is going to be made into some change, you know what I'm saying, so uh, if you ever need that to happen, you know, you just holler at me and I'll make it go, you know, cool. that's real. I appreciate that, brother. I'll definitely, I'll definitely re- re- reach out if I get that point. I got a company right now who's treating me pretty damn good so far. I've had no issues since I've hired them, so it's been one year. Well, you know what? You do? Do you actually know how much weed you grow? You, do you ever weigh how much you got out there? Because of course, the more the, okay, the more you weigh, that means you then lost about a, a half a pound of that shit to people pocket. You know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> it's easy to put some weed in your pocket, you know. But uh, if you're doing good, that's good. You ain't got to worry about that little bit that you lose. But see, I'm trying yeah. to get, get you to get that extra hundred mil. You know, that's going to everybody else's pockets. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. if, if I was to do that for you, you would not lose a seed. Remember, listen to what I'm saying. A seed. You know? Losing a half pound a week don't really even, uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be worth the money for me to even hire someone to, 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 to actually stop that. That's, that's a drop okay. in the fucking well, well, company. Wow. You know what I mean? Well, okay. You just proved to me that you can hire me today, and I come out there and work the field too. You know what I'm saying? Because then, you know, not a leave out of there. I'm going up and smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, whenever you want to come out and smoke, I got you all day. You come out here, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a nice black mama gift back. You every, every flavor I got. All right. Okay, man, Keisha, you know, man, Keisha come out there. You don't, don't tell me that because I fly free. I'll be out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he worked. <laughs> you know, come with he got no it's Delta no, perks. It, 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 Come with Keisha, come with Keisha, I'll give you two of every flavor I got. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Shit, yeah, we're going to make good happen, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> put you on the spot, brother. Put you on the spot. Oh, uh, no, nah, you ain't going to put me, because, shit, Keisha don't want to come. I'll just get Keisha for them to come on out there. Yeah, see, this Keisha right here, I'm supposed to be coming with him, and I'm with it. I'm by myself, but am I still good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm by myself. I, I yeah. I haven't seen Keisha forever, man. 
That's right, man. Oh, that's what's up, man. Hey, listen, man. Keep doing what you're doing, baby. You need to show me how to do that because I'm going to have to find me some land here in Georgia and go ahead on and start making my shit happen, too, you know, and whatnot. But anyway, man, good talking to you. that law changes, I might, I might even hop over there if that law changes a little bit. You never know. You're right. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sure, yeah. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always going to go over a different. As long as that law lets me do what I need to do, I'm, I'm there. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what's up there, man. But um, keep doing what you're doing. And like I said, I'll be out there. And whenever you need me, just holler. All right, Vern. That's you the number, it, buddy. number one Chief Rocker, Jersey <laughs> Vern. <laughs> Another X squad affiliate. Yes, yeah, so I got a, uh, a group of podcasters. He was one of them. We got uh, 15 podcasters that uh, we all have different shows. He has sports talk and social issues and stuff. And he does his a couple of times a week as well. So. <laughs> so we got a, a group of podcasters that do that thing as well. Number one, Chief Rock is, is one of those as well. From from Jersey. Yeah. Um, now you say you're from upstate New York. Where in New York? I was born in Syracuse, New York. Syracuse, okay. Who's your, you watch college, football, basketball, what, any of that? Man, I really don't, man. I used to. I used to. I used to have time for that. <laughs> I used to have time for those. <laughs> parts of life, I just, I, I just honestly, man, don't have the time. And honestly, being on the West Coast has changed sports for me because my whole life I watched football at 1 p.m., you know, or 4 p.m. Yeah. Now football starts at 10 a.m. over here. And I just, you know, it's 10 a.m. and 1 a.m., 1 p.m. I just, I, I haven't been able to get into sports that many years. Everything's on so early. Was you a Dolphins fan? Teams are on so early. And all the teams I like are East Coast teams, so I can't even root for the teams out here. Damn. You was a Dolphins fan? No, man, I'm a Jet fan. Oh, you're a Jets fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Jet fan. Of course, man. I know we haven't won shit in a really long time. Yeah, but man. our quarterback wore a mid coat on the sideline to the Super Bowl. So, I'll forever will have that. <laughs> we'll put back to ever grace the, ever grace the football field. But, yes, yeah. sir. Well, wow. listen, Keith, I'm going to have to cut you off a little bit short tonight, buddy, only because I gotta, I gotta, I'm actually about to hop on a plane and go to Mexico. We're going to kind of get down to Tijuana for the weekend. Oh, you want to see a one for the weekend? Yeah, right. we're going to see one for the weekend. And uh, we kind of made, made they, they actually made all the plans while I was on the phone with you guys. And they just told me that we got to go. <laughs> just instant. Just get on the plane, yeah, like, on a whim. we got to go. We're going to go hang out for the weekend. God so, I'm damn, that must be nice. Hey, man. Yeah. Y'all swing by and pick me up one day. All right. Well, I appreciate you <laughs> you coming through, Joy. And definitely uh, kicking it with KC, man. I'll be in touch with you, man, and let you, uh, you know, send this link out and uh, share it with you and some of your people want to hear this. So, man, I appreciate that, Thanks, brother. brother. All right. Give me that site, man, one hey, more man. time. Uh-huh. <coughs> What's that? Give me the site. The, give me the website one more time, <laughs> people, to, to go to. Blackmambajoints.com. And it'll forward right to the Instagram. Okay. Black Mamba Joints. When everybody come out here, man, and hang out, you let me know. I'll, I'll take you on a tour of California. Most definitely. Appreciate that, Joy. All right. All right, brother. Thanks for your time, man. All right, brother. That was my man, Joy. Joy C, a.k.a. Joy Nice. Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, I met that cat. Uh, he was actually managing a um, popular flyer company down in the 305, popular flyer printing company in the 305. Uh, probably one of the most popular ones everybody went through, so... I do a little printing and, um, you know, I hit him up and he was always my man. And uh, when he left out of there and went to another spot, you know, we just kept in touch, man. This dude did his thing. You're right, man. Must be must be real nice, Mocha. Like you said, just jump on a private jet and just go to Tijuana. That's like absolutely crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it is all good. Just to jump on and say, hey, man, we're going to Tijuana and just party tonight. Late Thursday, Friday. Obviously, that mean, that mean he ain't going to be at work tomorrow. So he ain't got to worry about his employees, you know what I'm saying? So, wow, that's you know, real fascinating right there, you know. So the uh, the <laughs> you know what I'm saying here, we you think about it, like I said, weed is 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 is, is real taboo here and everywhere else that where it ain't legalized. So we like, hey man, we got to go through. We got think about the corporate folks because you work with these folks who are hundred percent corporate and. They don't want to go deal with the element. They don't want to go deal with that hood element to, 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 to get that weed. Because a good weed may be down in the hood. So they got to actually go meet this dude. So they might get an in-between guy to go get that for them. <clears throat> uh, shout out to one of my uh, podcast partners in here as well. I'm not going to give any names. But 
there's an in between, you know, do the in between thing and actually be that liaison between one point to the next point. And you know what I'm saying? That can be very lucrative because you can actually, you know what I'm saying, deem whatever price that is. So, say a person wants a, uh, normally what they deem as a dub sack, and because they don't want to go get that element, they don't want to go to the hood to get that dub sack for twenty dollars. For those who don't know what a dub sack is, a twenty dollar sack. Say they don't want to go get that twenty dollar sack. You being an in between guy, you can say, hey, you know what? It costs fifty dollars to to get that. So there you go. You charge fifty dollars to actually go get that twenty dollar bag for that person. You know what I'm saying? You pay the man twenty, and you got thirty dollars just for making that transaction happen. I'm not. I'm not giving you the blueprint on how it's done because I don't know how it's done. I'm just saying that's what I heard. Um, but it's really interesting. It's real taboo out there how the how that industry is, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> real absolutely crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. So shout out to all. I know the smokers was able to get. They were able to get a uh, a nice. Um, educational session here, and you know what I'm saying it looks like it's it looks like you need to go to Vegas and and, and California and everywhere where it's legal and make this thing happen, man. If you're a smoker and you can just go get a business and make this happen, it's the thing to do. I know a couple people who are enterprising and trying to get in the industry, and it looks like you know it looks like it's very very profitable. I mean, look at my man jumping on his private jet, rolling out. Because it's very, very profitable. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, shout out to Bus I, uh, up in this piece, too. <laughs> in this Hamden Crabbers uniform. Shout out to the 757. That's right. Home of Tyrod Taylor. The 757. That's right. I see you, Bustle. Yeah, man. 79. Let me see. Yeah, I got a couple folks, uh, some 79 with the Ferguson. So that was around the same time as you. Um, <laughs> why they laugh? Why they clowning you about your uniform? Like, did you make it on the field? My man is a director. That means that means he had to have the professionalism to actually take his craft, whatever he played. I think he played a trumpet. Be able to play that trumpet all the way through junior high, high school, college, and then become a director. You know what I'm saying? My man Busser. You know what I'm saying? It's the man. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, he's the number one player in the band. That's right. He was the man. I know it. I could tell. I could tell by the way he wear that uniform. I'm a I'm a band geek as well, but I actually play all through junior high, high school, and marked in college as well. So I'm just like you. I don't have no picture with a uniform on anywhere. But I need to put mine up too. But yeah, man. I'm proud as well. And my brother actually marched as well. He's a uh, he was a band director um as well at a junior high, but he went and went further in uh Secondary education. He's now a principal at a school in Newport News. Did I see somebody gave a shout out to to him? I don't know which brother. I got two brothers. They twins, and one of them was up in here. I know y'all said Bray Boy, which is one of my brothers. So I guess he was in here listening in the beginning, and then he was like, "Shit, y'all talking about weed? I can't be. I can't be in this room, this chat room." He probably bombed out right quick and jumped out. Like, damn, they're gonna associate me with smoking. <laughs> ah, that is hilarious, man. So anyway, so all y'all smokers got y'all education today. Shout out to the Garden of Weeding members. <laughs> hey, I ain't calling nobody out up in this piece. But like I was saying, it's a it's a big business. You know what I mean? My man Joy lived the dream. I heard him talk about I heard him talk about he was going to do it and like I said, when I first heard him say that I was like, man I'm like, man, whatever you know, not that I didn't believe him, but you know, there's a lot of folks that say they want to do something and that was just one of them taboo industries like, okay, it takes a lot of resources it's going to take money, it's going to take you know what I'm saying, time, it's going to take the right people it's going to take the right place and there's a lot of elements you had to put together and this dude actually went to California and got those elements together. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know if he did it necessarily just on his own. He probably hooked up, met with the right folks, and put together the right team and networked and made it happen. You know what I'm saying? So there was one thing that I there was one thing that um I sent out, especially to my ex squadron folks. <laughs> I, I call you the ex squadron folks, but the, my ex squad I actually sent out something called the power of your squad. 
And that basically talks about networking. That basically talks about who you hang around with, who is in your network, who is in your circle. And whoever's in your circle deems how successful.